Okay. Hi, it's Lanka. I've been getting a lot of requests recently to do an everyday makeup routine and I figured I'll, uh, why not do it? That should be fun. I really want to get to a point in makeup where I don't have to wear like any foundation or anything because I was at that point last summer. I've been getting like hormonal acne and stuff recently and it's really annoying, but it's getting better, I think. I don't know. It's just hard to navigate. I feel like no one talks about it enough. Women in their 20s literally go through a second puberty and that's what's been happening to me recently. So I would rather not wear any makeup, but sometimes I feel better when I do. I've gotten to a place in life where I'm like kind of fine with not wearing any makeup a lot of times. Sometimes I actually prefer my under eye circles, which is kind of crazy. For skincare, I applied moisturizer. I don't know how good this one is. I also use snail mucin. This stuff is really good for hydrating. I do keep all my makeup under my bed in a storage box just because that is like the most useful for me because I prefer to keep my desk like organized stuff because I edit here on my computer. I don't use any primer. I used to, but I'm kind of bored with it. I just put concealer straight on my face. So what I'm using right now for concealer is this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is is actually pretty good. I do think it makes my skin very hydrated. It makes it look really dewy and whatnot. So I just apply it to any areas that I kind of feel like give me a little bit of issues. Just let that sit. Then I put on my under eye circle concealer. I use this Milk Makeup Concealer. It's nice. It does crease a tiny bit. I feel like too much product comes out on the thing because you like have to pump it a few times for anything to come out. And then when it does come out, it's too much. For foundation, my favorite, I use the Sunshine Skin Tint because it's so light. It looks so natural. It's just overall the best foundation I've ever used. It's exactly what I want in a foundation where it's like the bare minimum of coverage but it's still really nice for your skin because it's got a bunch of oils in it and it keeps everything hydrated. Sometimes I feel like my skin looks better at the end of the day once I wear this all day. Like it's like extra skincare kind of. I never used to put foundation on my neck for some reason. In like middle school and high school, I just never thought about it. In videos I'd always watch they'd be like put it on your neck and I would still not do it. I'd be like that's not necessary. My under eye circles right now are really dry. They're like kind of not looking good. You can't tell on camera at all, but honestly, I don't care too much about coverage anymore. As long as I have like something that looks good on my face, I'm fine with it. A lot of times I'll just be really random with bronzer and stuff. I was using this Milk Makeup bronzer for a really long time and I still love this. It's huge. I'm probably gonna mostly use it in the summer though. Right now I'm using this Rihanna Fenty Beauty. I always say the person's name. Like I did the same thing with the Selena Gomez rare beauty thing. I just look at makeup brands like who made the makeup. I like this because it's really cool toned so it's not so much as a bronzer it's mostly just for contouring. I like to have a more bronzy look in the summer but in the winter I stick with like a cooler tone. Oh literally my whole right here this whole thing right now is flaking off it's so dry. My skin is so weird it's like oily and gross in the summer and then in the winter it's just dry like everything Sahara Desert gone all my moisture. See you can't really see it but it's still there and it just looks natural and then for my nose I'm just pressing it in. Um, I can't believe how bad my skin is. It looks like a freaking reptile. I'm glad you can't tell on camera. This is awful. I think it's this pond stuff. It's supposed to be for facial, but I just feel like it's not good. Why is my skin flaking like that? Explain. Riddle me that. Now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I use this Hulu Beauty bronzer. I've used this forever. It's always just been the best for me personally. It's just such a nice shade. It works really well with my skin and it just looks good every time I put it on. So I've never switched out to anything else. And it's very hard to blend right now because my under eyes look disgusting. I don't know what is going on. I've been using Trentinoin. Trentinoin. It's like a skincare thing. It's supposed to make your skin replenish or something. I don't know. I really have no idea. My curology person prescribed me it and it's been helping, but I only put it here. My skin just only here has been really bad. Like, it's just weird. Okay, anyway, then I also go in with my bronzer and I bronze my nose very lightly. I just feel like it gives it like a shape. Otherwise, if I just put straight foundation on my nose, it takes away all the shadows. I just feel like it looks really like one dimensional. I don't do anything to like contour it personally because I like the shape of my nose. I'm not mad at it. So the only thing I do do, I guess, <laughs> is I put some bronzer here, just like on the tip. 
and on the top here and I don't really know what it does exactly but I like the way it looks whenever I do that. Then go in with the bigger brush. I just bronze up here just a little bit just to give my face a little more warmth. Next is my favorite blush. I have a variety of blushes that I use. I'm gonna use this one I haven't used it in a while. It's the Morphe 2. It's like a bright red. It adds so much to your face. And I just really like it. Okay, I look like a clown. But I just put it on the apples of my cheeks and I smile like that. And I mostly try to get it underneath my under eyes. And I like a lot of it. Sometimes I put bronzer here. There was a little black on this brush, so I kind of just like flicked it outwards like this. I just use any black eyeshadow for that if I ever want to do an eyeliner look. Okay, this is my favorite part. So I love doing my eyebrows. I'm always looking at like different products specifically for eyebrows. I don't know why, I just really like doing my eyebrows. I like to make them even. It's like the final step besides mascara. The product that I'm going to be using is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I have a little sample size of it, or what is it called, the mini size. I want to get the full size because this is the best eyebrow thing I have used yet. Yet. I've used a bunch of different stuff like I've tried soap brows and I've tried like brow gels Like literally nothing works for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are really stubborn It will only go a certain way and it hates being moved another way because it'll eventually move back But this stuff is really great I just apply it and I let it sit for a second and then I apply more and I just keep pressing it down until it stays And I just really like this because it doesn't have a color and it doesn't leave a residue See it's like they're starting to stick up more See, if you can't tell, which I can tell really well, this eyebrow is really sparse and that's because my eyebrows are super crooked so I kind of pluck this one a little bit so it's like higher sitting than this one. I don't, how do I describe it? I literally have no idea how to describe it because it's like really weird what I do but basically I pluck this one so there's not as many hairs as this one and but I pluck it so like this is different. Okay, that's besides the point. So then I have to draw on hairs and I've tried a lot of different things like this Benefit Brow Pencil. I've tried a bunch of stuff, brow pomade, brow powder, just different things. But it wasn't until I found this. This is an NYX professional makeup. Oh, that's the brand. <laughs> Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's literally like an eyeliner, but for your eyebrows. So I just mimic the brow hairs on the front part of my eyebrow. Can you see it already looks way fuller? And it looks so natural. And it looks so natural. <laughs> Oh, I just love it. It looks so natural. Like it's just seriously my favorite thing ever. Then to clean up, I just take the same concealer that I used before and a little tiny brush. And I take a little bit of like a barely any concealer and I just go underneath it. And when I'm doing this, I'm not really using too much product. I'm mostly using enough product and also using the product that's already on to wipe off the stuff because I don't want it to look like there's too much on my face. You see how like natural they look. I just love that look, like super duper natural, not too much going on. I'm gonna do fake freckles. So I used to diss people that did fake freckles because I was a hater. I've changed. I don't want to be a hater anymore, so I've changed my ways. They're genius. Fake freckles are such a good idea. If I don't do fake freckles, I do my henna freckles. Henna freckles are very controversial. I recommend buying them directly from someone that actually makes henna so you don't appropriate the use of henna because it does have a huge cultural background. I very much appreciate the art of henna and I love henna. I use it for my freckles sometimes. I hope it's okay. I really hope it's okay. I see a lot of people doing it all the time and I don't want to be someone that's like taking things and not realizing the meaning of them. Anyways, if I don't do that, I do fake freckles. So I have this little product from Freck Beauty. Honestly, this is so overpriced. It works really well, but it's really overpriced. And I tried it out a few times and I do really like it. I think it looks really pretty. The key is you can't like put it on and dab it off right away. You have to wait a few seconds and like kind of let it dry. The more you let it dry, the darker the freckles come out. So yeah, can you tell that there's a difference? It just looks really natural. And also another way to make your freckles look really natural is bring them across your nose bridge and also up here because the sun hits your face up here just naturally so you would have freckles there. Also, I do have a lot of freckles in the summer. They've gone away already because it's 50 degrees. Whenever I do get freckles, I will mostly get them on the bridge of my nose right here. So that's why I drag it there because that also makes it look super natural. Also, I've been trying to make it so I only do my makeup in like 15, 20 minutes. I don't really like sitting here and like spending so much time looking in the mirror and doing things to my face. Okay, I think that's fine with freckles. I don't know. What do you guys think?
I also want to do this today. I'm gonna use my Becca highlighter. I got this at TJ Maxx, it was on sale. Rest in peace to Becca. Even though Smashbox actually bought her and they're gonna be selling her on their website, she will be missed as an individual company. <laughs> I feel like highlighting is over, like no one does it anymore, but I still like doing it. It just makes me happy highlighting my face. I just put it everywhere too. Oh, now let's do a little bit of eyeshadow, just a tad bit. I usually don't do too much for my eyes. Like I said, I did the bronzer and then I take this little like flat brush and I go in and I just add like a bit of eyeliner and I blend it out with my finger. I don't do too much. And then I like to add a little bit of a wing. It's like kind of almost a shadow of a wing. It's really natural. I just feel like my eyes are really, they're really rounded like this. And this just helps elongate them. Not that my eyes being rounded is bad at all. I feel like my eyes being elongated matches my face when it's wearing makeup. Does that even make any sense? When I was in high school, I wore eyeliner every single day. I had a winged eyeliner every single day. If I didn't do it, I would look in the mirror and be like, no, that's not right. And I would do it. Like I could not not have winged eyeliner every day, which is so crazy to me. Like I would look in the mirror and be like, who is that? Like, I don't like who I'm seeing in the mirror right now. Now I'm putting on a little bit of a lip pencil. Whenever I do my makeup, I always notice right away that I have foundation like all over my lips and then I just do the lip pencil over it because I feel like it helps it look a little more lively. It makes my lips look a little bit bigger too and I don't really have to put too much effort into it. Now my next favorite part, mascara. If I don't have my eyelashes permed, I have to curl them. Last time I permed them was like months ago. I have to curl them today because they're not really that permed anymore. I always notice people curl their lashes. They don't do it right. It's so annoying to me, like I always see people just like and that's it and it's so frustrating every single time I see someone doing it and I'm like you're literally doing it wrong. wrong basically what I do is I get as close to the root as possible and I literally go in with my fingers and I drag up the ends of my eyelashes and I curl it like that you have to curl from the the base like the actual base and no one does that they all be curling like willy-nilly and it's just so annoying And I do it really weirdly. I don't know why. Like you can see, like now you can see this part of my eye because my lashes went from like that to that. I'm gonna use my favorite mascara today. I actually tried the Lash Blowout from It Cosmetics and I actually really liked it. It looked super good all day, but it transferred to my eyelid. Every mascara I try transfers all over my eyelid. I hate it except for this one. This one, it's not waterproof or anything, but it comes off really easily like it's just an all-around really good mascara and they donate to women in need like just a great brand and this is the only mascara that doesn't get all over my eyelids like can you look hello and i barely put any on this is one coat like look at the difference hello what i like to do while they're drying is i got these little like eyelash things i don't know what they're called i just found them i just comb through my eyelashes with them and then i also go in with a little mascara brush i just comb through it like this i like twist through them just get some of like the excess product off okay then my finisher my final step is i take this little nyx white eyeliner and i put it in my inner corner here and then I also put it here. I put it down here. And then I put it on my lip. And I put it up here. <laughs> then, if I don't forget, I'll take this Ulta Luscious Foil Eyeshadow. I bought this like three years ago. And there is still so much of it left. It's so pretty too. I don't even need like another sparkly eyeshadow because this one's perfect. I just take it on this little brush. It's like a pointy... And I just swirl it in the cap and then I just put it like that. I like to put a lot of it. I just like the way it looks. Okay guys, I think that's it. That is my whole makeup tutorial. Or is this a tutorial? This is like a everyday makeup routine. I just like that it's really dewy and like natural and glowy. It makes me feel really good. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing too much. I've been thinking about doing one of those like Vogue videos, like copying a celebrity's makeup from the Vogue makeup videos that they do. I just think that would be really fun. I was looking at Madison Beer. She did like a really nice one. So I kind of wanted to try that out. All 
also if you have any tips or anything that would be much appreciated because i love getting new makeup tips and tricks and or like even any products that you guys recommend that you think i might like i would love that that would mean a lot thanks for watching make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a like make sure to finish the heart let's finish the heart put a heart on the, the screen, screen guys, guys. Love you guys. Love you guys so much. Bye.